So what is the big deal about small engines using electronic fuel injection technology and power equipment? Is EFI really a better option than using engines with carburetors? Is it actually a better option than some of the alternative fuel choices being sold today? Let's take a look at the history of EFI and zero-turn mowers and investigate if there are any real advantages for the person that matters the most, the consumer. First off, what is EFI? EFI is the use of electronic controls to regulate the flow of fuel in a combustion engine. The controls take a number of factors into consideration, including temperatures and available oxygen levels. The result is a cleaner burning, more efficient way to produce power. EFI technology is not new. It has been widely used in cars since the 1980s. In the late 90s, Kohler Engines and Walker Mowers teamed up to introduce the first EFI engine option in a piece of commercial mowing equipment, the Walker MT26. What this did was give gains in not only fuel efficiency, but also environmental friendliness. It struck a path for the future that would lead to one of the most distinct advancements in the power equipment industry. Now, fast forward to today, and let's take a look at what the benefits of EFI have actually proven to be, and what Walker has learned after producing over 20,000 tractors with EFI. Since 1998, Walker has produced EFI tractors and gained experience not only as a manufacturer, but also within the sales and service channel. Many Walker dealers have well-trained EFI technicians and are capable of quickly troubleshooting and repairing any issue that may arise with EFI. In the meantime, the Walker product has gone from a single offering to four EFI engine choices, including one with liquid cooling, just like a car. Walker is also now using Kohler's revolutionary Delphi closed loop system that provides even greater fuel savings and improved performance. It just keeps getting better. So what does this mean for someone looking to buy a commercial riding lawnmower? The biggest difference is fuel savings. Fuel consumption tests show EFI engines outperform carburetor engines by an average of 25%. That's pretty good when you translate it to savings at the pump. Let's do the math. Say you're using a carburetor engine that consumes 1.35 gallons per hour. If you are paying an average of $3.85 per gallon and you're running for 600 hours a year, you will pay around $3,120 per year for fuel. If you run the same tractor with an EFI engine, and you are saving 25% on fuel costs, you will spend about $2,340 for the same 600 annual hours of work. This is a savings of about $780 each year. That is a lot of money. And remember, that doesn't include the time you save in carburetor maintenance. Also, this is an annual savings, so you can save about $780 every year you operate the mower. That adds up. Another consideration for today's market is how friendly EFI is to the environment. The comparison to a carbureted engine is obvious, since the engine is burning less fuel and doing it cleanly. But how does EFI stack up against other alternative fuels like propane? Good question! Head-to-head -head tests favor EFI for long-term environmental impact. Here's the map. When you burn the amount of propane it takes to equal the work of an EFI engine, it actually produces almost double the CO2 that an EFI engine produces. An EFI engine produces 5.3 tons of carbon dioxide a year when running 600 hours, while the same tractor on a propane engine burns 9.2 tons of carbon dioxide a year in the same amount of time. Propane, although it burns cleaner, requires more fuel to do the same job as EFI and actually increases propane's carbon footprint versus EFI by over 40%. Yeah, we think that's a lot too. So here's the question. If an EFI engine choice is better on the environment and can save you some serious money, why not take a closer look? <laughs>